Joe Biden's S-Corp is called Celtic Capri Corp. Now this S-Corporation he used before he became president, but after he was vice president, there was this window of time when he made $9 million in one year alone in speaking fees. Now he used one of the best strategies for small business owners to save taxes. I don't care whether you're a former vice president doing speaking fees, a doctor, dentist, plumber, architect, lawyer, I have an S-Corp. You have a small business receiving income for goods or services, you should be using an S corporation. Now I'm gonna go into Biden's situation. I'm gonna go right into his tax return because they were disclosed to show you how much money he made and how much this tax strategy saved him on his tax return. And it's a strategy you can do too. After we go through his numbers, this is from his 2017 return, which was all disclosed. So we can dive right into the numbers and get to the real savings. But after we do that, I'm gonna go over scenarios for a small business owner using an S corporation, making a hundred grand, one making 300 grand, 600 grand, and a million. I'm gonna break down how the S Corp works and what the tax savings are at those income levels. Well, let's get into Joe Biden's tax return though first. Now this is his S Corporation called Celtic Capri Corp. Now in 2017, he made $9.5 million in income. He took a salary from that business of $146,000. That's right, $9.5 million in income in the S Corporation, 146 k in salary. This is after expenses, by the way. He then took a profit or dividend of $9.3 million dollars. Now, why would Joe Biden do that? I know some people think he's an idiot. It doesn't matter. This is not meant to be about politics, but why would he do that? Why would any small business owner pay themselves at an S corporation, a small salary and take out a large dividend or profit? One reason. When you are a self-employed person, before you even pay income tax, based on the income tax bracket where you fall based on your annual income, before you even get to your income tax, you pay something called self-employment tax. This consists of two things, social security, and Medicare. Now, Social Security is 12.4%, but it phases out. I'm gonna to get to that. Medicare is 2.9%. No matter what, hundreds of millions, billions of dollars of income, you still pay Medicare tax on that. Now, before you even pay income tax on your money, when you're self-employed, you have to pay something called self-employment tax. Now, it phases out, I'll get to that later, but the max you pay on that is 15.3%. This consists of 12.4% of Social Security tax and 2.9% of Medicare tax. Now, the Medicare tax doesn't phase out for active income, you're providing goods or services. But here's the reason why this matters and why Biden saved on his taxes. So why would Joe Biden pay himself a $9.3 million dividend? Because it's exempt from Medicare tax. He saved 2.9% on $9.3 million. This totals $275,000 in tax savings, okay? Because he didn't have to pay Medicare tax on this 275K. If Joe Biden took this income and paid himself through an LLC or a sole proprietorship, it just went on Schedule C on his tax return, he would have had to pay $275,000 more to the IRS in Medicare tax. Now the percentage here of Medicare tax is 2.9%. When you're self-employed and you're paying yourself, you gotta pay 2.9% on your self-employment earnings. So if you're a sole proprietor, you're filling out Schedule C, I don't care whether you're a real estate agent, consultant, you have a small business, big business, your former vice president of the United States doing speaking. If you're just going on Schedule C as a sole proprietor, you're paying this 2.9% on everything. But if you take a dividend, or a profit out of an S corporation, that is exempt. In Biden's case, $9.3 million was exempted from that 2.9% and he saved $275,000. Now this strategy is even better for small business owners that might be making just 100K a year because you also get a save on social security tax. Now in Biden's example here, you can see he took a $146,000 salary. Now when you have an S corporation, the tax code says you must take a reasonable salary. So when I have an S corporation, for example, and I actually do have an S corporation, I use one myself, I pay myself just like Biden does. I take a salary and this is like, everyone who's doing an S corporation, right? And I take a dividend. Now the salary here, Biden took 146K. That 146K is subject to self-employment tax, okay? He is gonna pay Medicare and Social Security on that 146K. The dividend is exempt. Whether he paid himself a $100,000 dividend and saved $2,900, 
or he paid himself almost $10 million in dividend here and saved $29,000 in Medicare tax. The savings depends on how much money you can push over to the dividend side here. Now, the government says you can't take everything out in dividend or profit. If you're working in the business, you must pay yourself a reasonable salary. And what's reasonable differs. Many accounts have different strategies on that and how to apply that. There's not a lot of cases on it, unfortunately. Now, you can't pay yourself everything in the form of dividend. The IRS requires you to pay yourself a reasonable salary. Now, what's reasonable differs. A lot of people have different interpretations of this. There's not a lot of guidance or cases on what is a reasonable salary. Biden, former senator, vice president of the United States, current president, determined that $146,000 was a reasonable salary for $9.5 million in income. That's actually pretty aggressive, I have to say, amongst many tax professionals. Obviously, he wasn't audited. His tax returns are disclosed. Now, Biden paid himself $146,000 salary. That was actually pretty aggressive here. On $9.5 million of income, he only paid himself $146,000 salary. Maybe he should have done 200, 300K, I don't know. Some tax professionals might have told him to take a million dollars or more in salary, which I think would be insane. But the principle here is you can pay yourself through an S corporation and minimize your self-employment tax liability. If you are a very high income earner, a lot of people have thought, well, Matt, I phase out on social security taxes. Once I make $168,000 or more, that's the 2024 limit. I shouldn't do an S corporation because I don't save at those dollar numbers. Yeah, you do. Biden phased out here back in 2017 at 146 k but the Medicare tax, the 2.9%, never phases out. See, self-employment tax consists of two things. This is what's important to know. When you're making money as a self-employed person, you pay self-employment tax for Social Security, which is 12.4%, and Medicare, which is 2.9%. That totals 15.3%. But the self-employment tax on the Social Security phases out. You stop paying it at 168,000 of income. This is for 2024. So once you make more than 168,000, whether you got a day job, W-2 somewhere, or you're self-employed, you don't pay any more into Social Security taxes, okay? However, the Medicare taxes keep ticking past 168,000. Now, let's run some numbers because I want to show how it works for the typical small business owner doing this S corporation to save on self-employment tax. So let's first take a small business owner making 100,000 net. Okay, this is after all your expenses, you have 100K net income. And you decide you're going to pay yourself from your S corporation 40,000 in salary and 60,000 in dividend. Now, if you just made 100K that year, 40,000 in salary, you've got to pay the self-employment tax of 15.3%. You're paying the Medicare and the Social Security on that. That's going to total $6,000. Okay, that's 15.3% of $40,000. Now, the other $60,000, though, because you paid yourself through a dividend in the S Corp, or sometimes just called net profit, you're entirely exempt from that. That is a savings of $9,000. Okay, if you just took that hundred k of net income and you just took that on Schedule C as a sole proprietorship on your tax return, you would have paid the $6,000 plus the $9,000. You would have paid $15,000 in self-employment employment tax. But here at this income level, you're saving on the entire 15.3% because you're not phasing out. So you're saving on the Social Security tax of 12.4% and the Medicare tax of 2.9%. So that is the 15.3% savings over here on the 60,000. Now let's do another example here because I want to show you how the numbers work because you start bumping up in income. Because the S Corp tax strategy still helps. You'll still have tax savings. It just is different because you're going to eventually start phasing out or getting less savings on the Social Security because of the phase out. But you're going to get more bang for your buck because you're going to have more income on the Medicare. So let me show you how that works. So let's say you had 300,000 of net income, okay? Let's say you're a dentist, you're making 300K net income after you wrote everything off you could. And let's say we're gonna take a $100,000 salary and a $200,000 dividend. A one-third, two-third split's very common, you'll see out there, a lot of people like to do a one-third, two-third split. One-third salary, two-third dividend. Now in this example here, the tax savings are gonna be 15.3% on this 68,000 that I was able to push over here. Now, this can get confusing. So let me show you how the self-employment tax works if you didn't have an S corporation first, okay? You just made 300,000 of income. Now you pay 15.3% total in self-employment tax, remember, but the Social Security, the 12.4, phases out at 168,000. So in this example here, 
Let's just say I was a sole prop. So I'm gonna pay 12.4% on 168,000. I'm just gonna hit the max. That is $20,832. Plus, I'm gonna be paying the 2.9% the Medicare on the full 300,000. Okay, so the 2.9% on 300,000 is $8,700. Okay, because I gotta pay it on the whole amount here I made, it doesn't have a phase out. Remember, the Social Security stops at 168K, whether you made a million bucks, 168K, 300K, doesn't matter, you max out there. So if I was just a sole proprietor, I would have ended up paying 20,000 in Social Security taxes, plus 8,700 in Medicare taxes for a total of 29,000, $532. Now that is what I would pay on 300,000 of net income if I was just a sole proprietor. But if I use the S corporation taking a 100K salary, I'm only gonna pay the social security 12.4% on 100K. Because remember, the social security is not on the dividend, it's only on the salary. So I'm only paying 12.4% on the 100,000. This totals $12,400. That's it. That's all I'm paying in to Social Security through the S Corporation. Now remember over here, as a sole proprietor, what was I paying? $20,832. So I've already got some tax savings there, but we're not done. <laughs> we still get some tax savings over here on the dividend side. All right, now on the salary, after I paid the 12,400 in Social Security, I also need to pay the Medicare. Remember, I still gotta pay Medicare tax over here. That's 2.9%, which is $2,000. $900, this is totaling $15,300. Okay, remember it's 15.3% total on 100K, $15,300. Now I broke those two things up, the Medicare and the Social Security, because you're gonna see how the tax savings work here. Now that Medicare of 2.9%, I'm not paying it over here on the 200K. That 2.9% is a tax savings of $5,800. I don't have to pay that. The only thing I pay here, $15,300. Instead of $29,532 as a sole proprietor, I'm saving almost $15,000 in self-employment tax by using an S corporation. So in summary, at 300,000 of net income from your business, running it through an S corporation, instead of an LLC or a sole proprietorship, you're gonna save $14,000. Now if you remember back to Joe Biden's S corporation, he was saving in the hundreds of thousands of dollars. The savings were in entirely on the Medicare tax because he was phasing out on the Social Security for the 2017 levels of income that he was at. Now, as we start getting to higher income levels, you may be taking a larger salary where you do phase out. And the only savings is on the 2.9% of Medicare. So whatever amount I can push to dividend, I only get the 2.9% of savings on the dividend amount. But as we're inching up in these income brackets, there's still some tax savings on the social security side too, as you saw in that at last example. So let's go with 600K of income next. Let's say I've got 600K of net income. This is after everything I I could expense in the business. Okay, this is my S corporation. Let's say I'm a general contractor and I decide to pay myself 150K salary and I'm gonna do a 450,000 dividend. All right, now let's run through this example here as well. Now remember, I've got 12.4% in Social Security and I've got 2.9% in Medicare tax, okay? It's over here on the salary side. I don't get out of it. I gotta pay the Social Security and the Medicare on that. Now, because I'm under the 168 grand limit here, I'm paying on the entire thing. So this is 15.3% of 150 grand. That totals $22,950, okay? That's what I'm gonna need to send into the IRS. Now, the nice thing is what I pushed over here, this 450K, I do have 18,000 here, cause I got up to 168, that I would have had to pay pay social security tax on, but I'm giving a tax savings because I pushed it to the dividend where I don't pay into social security or Medicare. So on that 18,000, let's calculate what the savings is. That's 15.3%. I saved $2,754, okay? That 18,000 that I didn't take in salary and I pushed to dividend because I was still under the social security limit where I would have had to pay that if I was a sole proprietor, push that 18,000 over to dividend, I'm saving $2,754. Plus, I'm saving 2.9% on the whole 450K. Because again, if I was a sole proprietor, I would have had to pay 2.9% on the whole 600,000. Now we took it already on the 150, but I get the savings over here on the 450. Now that totals up to $13,000 in savings there on 2.9% of 450 grand. Now the total savings I'm gonna get here is $15,800 approximately, and that's on 600,000 of income, taking a $150,000 salary and a $450,000 dividend. I will save 15 grand every year I use this strategy. Again, like Joe Biden used to save himself 
$275,000. All right, let's look at the final example here of a small business making a million dollars and running it through an S corporation. Let's go over what the tax savings would be. Now, first, let's just take into account how would they're gonna do this if they were a sole proprietorship. Let's say they did nothing. They didn't have an entity or they just used an LLC. They didn't have the S corporation. They're gonna pay the 12.4% on the 168K. Okay, so that 12.4% equals $20,832. Okay, we have that in a prior example. All right, plus they're gonna pay 2.9% on the full million. That's gonna be $29,000. All right, so the total here that they're gonna have is $49,832. Okay, this is your self-employment tax, your Medicare and Social Security. If you make a million dollars net income, just going right onto Schedule C, okay? This is after all your expenses and everything you can write off, a million net income, you're gonna be paying $49,832. But how are we gonna minimize that? It's the same strategy, whether you make 10 million like Biden or 100K, okay? It's the same strategy, main hustle, side hustle, big business, small business. There's still tax savings in the S corporation. Now let's go through how we do that for a million. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing here. We have the S corporation, we're gonna take a salary and we're gonna take a dividend. Now there's a lot of options here. There might be differences of opinion on how to do this. I had an anesthesiologist client recently that wanted to know how much salary should uh, she take and was making very high income similar to this and decided to take a 200K salary. So she took a 200K salary. Now over here, she's gonna pay that self-employment tax on social security, the social security part of 20,832, okay? She doesn't get out of that. There's no tax savings there. So she's got the 20,832 she's gotta pay. Plus she's gotta pay the Medicare tax 2.9%, which would be 5,800 bucks on 200 grand. So she's gotta pay 26,000 approximately in Medicare and social security tax by taking a 200K salary. Now remember this is before you're even paying income tax, but where's the tax savings? Well, 800K over here and she is saving 2.9% on 800K. So that's gonna total $23,200. Now remember, no Medicare tax due over here on the dividend or profit that's being distributed out. You only pay over here on the salary side. So that's saving $23,200 every year by using this strategy. So if you're a high income earner and you've thought, oh, I don't wanna use the S corporation because as I make more money, I phase out of social security anyways. Guys, you're still paying Medicare forever. And as you can see on some of these prior examples showing 600K, you might be taking 150K salary. You still got another 18K of savings on the social security tax alone. In this example, it saved you $2,700 a year. Of course, if we go back here at a 300K level, again, there's still savings on the self-employment tax for social security and on Medicare. And then of course at 100K, you're actually getting more value. You're getting less total tax dollar savings, but a higher percentage of savings because you're saving everything on the 15.3% the full social security and the full Medicare tax by pushing over money to a dividend. So it's a great tax strategy for small, medium, and large business owners. Make sure you're using the S corporation tax strategy. Now, if you have an LLC and you're like, dang it, why am I not using this strategy? You can convert your LLC for tax purposes by doing what's called an S election with the IRS that elects your LLC into an S corporation where you can do the salary dividend split. Now this is for businesses that sell goods or services. Do not use the S corporation for rental real estate. Rental properties are exempt from self-employment tax because they make rental income and capital gain income. That income is exempt from self-employment tax on dollar one. So no reason to do the salary dividend split. There's also loss limitations and reasons you don't want to use an S corporation for rental real estate. But for any of you selling goods or providing services, the S corporation is the strategy for you. Now, if you have any questions, get over to my law firm, KQS Lawyers. We'd love to help you there. We can set up your S corporation, go through the tax planning in your situation, get into the, all the other tax deductions that may apply in your situation. And please subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be coming back with more great examples on how wealthy people, presidents, politicians, I don't care, are saving on taxes. I just wanna get the tax strategies out there and teach you how to use them so you can save money on your return.